Hey guys, it's Alex. So a couple of you have been recently asking me, how do you know which diet is really right for you? Especially in a scenario where maybe you have ongoing health problems, maybe you have ongoing digestive problems or something else and you're really trying to figure out what you should try. For me, my experience has always been you need to just eat foods and see what works for you and what doesn't. The best way is to try a kind of Spartan or elemental diet. But today, for example, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my own food experiment just eating vegetables for a day, how I felt, how I would assess it, and how to see if it just works for you. So the first thing here is obviously, this turned out to be quite expensive, over 60 bucks, which is really, I'm only shopping for like four or five meals. I obviously, I created a family sized amount of food, but fresh veggies are expensive, especially if it's, you know, if it's organic at the spot like that. Um, but basically, this is what my grocery shopping looked like for the day, which was a ton of vegetables, balsamic, avocado, cauliflower, all this kind of stuff. I mean, basically you can see me when I'm unpacking it. It's basically like 90% veggies, which is how it's supposed to be for the experiment. I also threw in some beans, some legumes, things like that. I don't know if you would consider that to be a veggie or not, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, in particular, the first meal here was my breakfast. I wasn't really sure what to eat as far as veggies go. The recipes that I found were mostly like these chickpea pancakes. So that's what I ended up making, these garbanzo beans here. Basically you take them up, you blend them up with some garlic, with some ginger, with a few other spices like oregano, uh, salt, pepper, fennel. I've also, I'm using salt here, it's Himalayan sea salt, doesn't really matter too much, or it's Himalayan, the pink salt there. Uh, ground flaxseed, this was a tablespoon here as well. And then after the flaxseed, we take all of that off. So we take it, we blend it all up. Uh, I put it, I just used the Nutribullet. It was kind of hard to get it all together there. Um, and then you kind of layer it into the pan. Now, what I had to do was actually bake it, for actually fry them first, like in a little bit of oil, some butter or some olive oil. Uh, I guess olive oil in this case, we're going truly veggie and all that, and, or vegan if you wanted to call it that. And then after that, so basically they're cooked in the pan first to harden up. It takes about five to seven minutes each side. And then after they're hardened up, I popped them in the oven for 15 minutes. And then they look like this eventually. So they're kind of these semi-soft, semi-hard on the outside, kind of crispy pancakes and they weren't too bad. They were a little bit garlicky for my taste. So I threw on some salsa and a little bit of avocado. And that actually turned out to be a pretty perfect breakfast, pretty delicious and had a lot of flavor. All right, guys, so I'm here, um, meal one, feeling good. That chickpea mix was actually pretty decent. Uh, my biggest fear with just eating the veggies for the day, by the way, chickpea is obviously not really a veggie, it's a legume, so I don't know if that's kind of cheating, but um, I was pretty impressed with it. It's, uh, let's see, it's 11.03 here, and I'm still pretty full. Um, I mean, I had like a, a dirty chai, which is like, I think a chai tea with espresso, and my appetite is pretty good still. Like I'm not, I'm not super hungry. So it's actually been tying me over since about 7:30. That's that's pretty solid. That's as good as you know eating eggs or something for me. Last night, I mean, I had to get up at 6:30 today. I didn't go to bed till like three. I was in bed by 11:30. Couldn't sleep till three. It was the time change and a bunch of other stuff that's been going on. But um, but I'm feeling good. Energy's feeling good. It was a good meal. Tasted good. Um, I'm pretty happy with the chickpea stuff, so we'll see what happens, and that's uh, that's the first meal today. Second one is that big ass salad, <laughs> so we'll see how that one goes. The next meal that I was actually planning for lunch, just because it was super easy to prep, was just one humongous salad. So I did a combination of raw and a combination of cooked veggies here. Too much raw for me tends to cause problems with my digestion, so I did uh, zucchini as well as Swiss chard for some of the cooked veggies, and then I went with some classic you know, romaine or red leaf lettuce with some bell peppers, with avocados, like you can see here, with this, this is a combination of, I think, romaine and red leaf lettuce. Put in some black beans as well, just for a little bit of extra stuff to munch on there. Layered it up like this in a little pan to get ready for tomorrow. I added the sauteed veggies, again, that's Swiss chard, and some zucchini, which turned out to be pretty solid. Drizzled a little bit of those black beans over, and then my classic salad dressing is just olive oil and balsamic vinegar, a little bit of salt pepper. All right, so I just got out of the gym. Um, primary concern there with just eating plants is that I wouldn't have enough calories, that I'd be hungry. Usually if I'm a bit too hungry, 
I just kind of get lightheaded and get faint, especially really tough workouts like legs. Um, today was chest, wasn't too bad at all. I was pretty hungry before, so I actually had another salad like I showed you guys before. Basically salad, tons of avocado for the fat, for the calories. And honestly, now I'm feeling pretty good, getting ready for dinner. But otherwise, things have been going well so far. Felt slightly tired in my workout, but I don't think it's necessarily due to what I've been eating today. I slept less than five hours last night, just one of those days in the time change. So let's go have dinner, check it out, and then uh, we'll kind of recap and see my assessment of today and how it went. I'll give a couple of my ratings, a couple of my own closing thoughts here, and then we'll split for the day. And then my final one here is I just went for like this veggie kind of cauliflower curry, which was essentially a bunch of vegetables. And I, it was supposed to be done in like a crock pot overnight style, but I didn't read that instruction, so I messed up. So you saute the onions, the garlic, and all that good stuff. And then once all the veggies are cooked up, you basically throw them in this massive pan with vegetable stock, uh, with a lot more spices and curry and... Uh, it would have been nice with a little bit of jalapeno and some spinach. And then I basically just brought it to a boil and then reduced it, much like you would cook any soup. But I just did it for 45 minutes. Um, I didn't want to make it too complicated and I didn't want it to take forever. It was supposed to be done overnight for like eight hours, four to eight hours. But otherwise, you can see, it looked pretty good. Added avocado again. I would have added chips here if I wasn't going no carb. So a couple closing thoughts here. My first impression of doing the veggie experiment is really because... Everyone is so confused about what to really eat on a daily basis. And I want to show people, especially if you don't feel well, particularly for medical conditions, or if you're like me, who's gone back and forth trying to figure out GI stuff, the best test is to just eat different things and see what your body does with them. The most ideal thing, typically from a biochemistry background, is doing an elimination diet, being on a Spartan elemental diet, which typically is just meat and plants and fat. Now, for me, the first thing I noticed here doing just this plant experiment is one, I kind of cheated in a sense because I had legumes. I had, you know, I had chickpeas, I had beans a little bit on my salad at lunch. Um, but the big thing was I noticed the price. Obviously, I went to the most expensive place because it's organic and I wanted organic veggies. Uh, Whole Foods here, really expensive no matter which way you cut it. But it was actually more ex expensive for me anyway to get tons of plants than it was to even get organic meat and then just get carbs. Carbs are super cheap to buy in bulk. I just view carbs almost as like, the easy way to get a lot of calories in. You're not gonna find too many cultures in the world doing hard labor, hard work, and not eating carbs. Just imagine, I had to eat four or five times just to be satisfied. Imagine if you're doing labor all day, like you're a farmer or you're in a field, or you're a steel worker or a construction worker. Chances are it's not gonna be that ideal for you, just plants. Now, the price was the first thing, came out to over 60 bucks. That was literally for like four or five meals. And now obviously, I don't cook veggie that much and so I researched recipes that were more complex than typically I would make. That's definitely a flaw of this little experiment here. The second thing is I obviously had to eat more often. Like I flat out had to eat more meals. Um, that could be a good or a bad depending on how you want to interpret it but it certainly took me more time um, because it was very hard to prepare in bulk. You can't really prepare fresh veggies that far ahead of time. They obviously go bad, they wilt. So there are other ways to get around this but that was another impression as well. As far as my energy goes, I feel pretty good. Um, I've never really had a problem with energy because I've kind of been taking care of myself. So it's really hard for me to give like a, wow, I feel incredible or wow, I feel really bad rating. Uh, I don't really have that for any of these kind of food experiments. Even last night I slept like four hours. Again, it was just one of those weird off days and I felt tired, really tired in the morning, but I'm pretty good now. I'm gonna crash in a few hours. I didn't really feel that much of a slope in, a slump in energy. Uh, so that's kind of hard for me to give a rating for. I usually feel pretty good no matter what. One other thing is the poo scale. Obviously, we cannot wrap this video up without talking about poo. If you know me, you know my ongoing thing with digestion means that I talk to my friends a lot about poo. And if you're my friend, you probably know within two weeks of meeting me that we're going to talk about poo. So I had a great poo today. Thank you to the plants. That is my poo score, which gets a thumbs up. <laughs> Now, one other small thing here that I thought was pretty cool was that I assume because of the water content in the veggies, I found myself not drinking almost any water today, not until after five o'clock. And after I had that big salad in the middle of the day, I felt super refreshed. So there was a nice kind of rehydrating feel. Obviously, plants are very high in water and, uh, and that water content actually felt really nourishing, really rehydrating, uh, even though I had, didn't have water until really my workout, which is pretty unusual, but I lost my water bottle. And so actually eating those veggies, those plants, 
felt really good just from a nutrition nourishing kind of sense and uh, and it felt pretty good so that is my assessment of eating all veggies for a day maybe next time i'll have to do it for a whole month to see what happens maybe i'll do like a before and after physical and internal external we'll see about that i'm going to do more of these food experiments pretty soon now before you go i want you to leave a comment right there below let me know number one is there another food experiment you'd like to see me do the weirder the better number two kind of what's been your experience trying out various foods and various diets to see what makes you feel good or feel bad leave a comment there below hey guys it's alex did you like this video if so there are really two ways you can stay in touch with me the first thing is to go over click the monk and subscribe so you get the next video right when it's out i'm releasing at least three videos per week but often a lot more the next thing is come on over and check out my book master the day it's called master the day eat move and live better with the power of daily habits and it's all about the tiny daily success habits that i learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later in a healthy way the success habits that not only get your dream body but also your dream life and as a special thank you if you get the book send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com i'll send you a one hour bonus video course for free and one important piece of it is an hour sit down success story with my friend and my student mike who lost 30 pounds so you can go check that out on amazon right there the next thing is come on over to my site modernhealthmonk.com i've got a free guide for you there five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds and otherwise i look forward to seeing you soon